watching. Um, my name is Vanessa and this is my um, one week post-op surgery video. I'm just going to be kind of giving an update on how the last week has been for me, how I'm doing now, um, and just go over a couple things. So I appreciate you guys watching. <laughs> disordered eating or disordered thinking that number feels like intrinsically tied to your value and it's it's not that's bullshit but it's really hard to separate it especially when you're in a journey like this where as much as you can try for it not to the number matters like we're all thinking about our numbers um but i've done everything i'm supposed to do um, I feel like I've been really lucky with being able to get everything down and I have been in a lot of pain um, mostly when I've been taking a lot of walks so I have kind of just limited my exercise to like going out to the grocery store or going um, somewhere just going on an errand with my wife or something and walking around somewhere I'm not doing the four day, four or five walks a day that I was doing before because what I found was that I was in so much pain after doing that that I've still been needing pain medication and I definitely wanted to be weaned off of it by now but the because of the weight of my stomach pulling down I just feel like every time I take a walk it just tugs on my incisions and irritates them again but since I've been um, kind of not taking as many walks I've been able to just um, take I've gone down to taking Percocet um, once every eight hours if I need it um, instead of once every six like they suggested when I came home or um, I was taking two every four hours while I was in the hospital so I'm definitely still weaning off of that but I've decided um, well I won't say I decided my grandmother told me I had to take my medicine as it's prescribed because I am still healing so instead of um, trying to force myself to not use medication because other people aren't still using it. I'm just going to focus on my own journey and that um, if I'm in pain, that there that medicine is there to treat the pain and it's going to help me heal faster. So, but right now I haven't taken it. It's 2.16 p.m. and I took, um, I took Percocet, a uh, one pill at 8 a.m. So, and I'm probably, I'm like a one to two out of ten on a pain scale so I'm hopeful maybe I won't need to take it at four at the next eight hour mark so but we'll see so um, so as far as weight goes I'm gonna keep tracking it I'm gonna update on Instagram how much weight I've lost and everything um, but I'm going to focus on really doing the mental work of not seeing this as a failure um, that it's still weight loss and I'm still doing what I'm supposed to do and the other thing is um, as far as kind of like what I've been eating goes um, I've not had to have a single protein shake which I'm really grateful for because I got so sick of them in the two-week um, pre-op diet I'm just so like I don't want that sugary fake like that fake sugary taste I'm just kind of over something sweet like I want I wanted something savory something like real food um, so what I've actually been doing is um, soups with um, uh, flavorless protein powder in it. It's called Gen Pro. Um, so what I'll do is, depending, like I'll take my four ounces of soup, which usually doesn't have, it doesn't have anything bad in it, but it doesn't have a lot of protein. And then I put either a, a half scoop, um, which is 15 grams of protein, or I put a full scoop, which is 30 grams of protein, into my four ounces of soup and I've got a meal and I can't taste it at all. So um, I've not had to have a single protein shake. That's really helped. I've gotten to try different soups so I'm not getting sick of anything. Um, and I've actually decided that since I'm doing so well, I'm going to go ahead and just move on to mixing, like kind of blending so, um, full liquids with purees. So I've, I mean, I've just, I've been doing so well. So um, I'm going to start moving on to some pureed food like once a day, like just for dinner or something. Um, it's going to give me the same amount of protein, but I'm not going to have to put that protein powder in it to get some of it. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's kind of um, what I've been doing to kind of avoid the protein shake thing. I know some people are also getting really sick of them. So that's an idea if you want to try that. 
Um, and then as for waters, I am drinking just plain water because I like it, but I also do the Powerade Zeros. I've got a few flavors of those um, in 20 ounces, and then I've got 12 ounces of Gatorade Zeros. So I kind of mix those up. And another thing I've been doing, um, like when I'm going out with my wife or going somewhere, I'm making um, one of these, just pouring out just a little bit of, um, of the Powerade, and then I pour in a full scoop of Gen Pro, which is the flavorless protein. So um, I'll put that. So by drinking this 20 ounces throughout the day, I'm getting another 30 grams of protein just by finishing my water, which I was going to do anyway. So that's really what's helped me get my protein in so much. Um, it might get harder as I'm doing it with real food, but doing it with the protein powders really helped. So as for restriction, I've just had so much gas. Like I've been so swollen and like... I've not really felt any restriction because I just feel restricted constantly. If, if that makes any, it probably doesn't make any sense. But basically, I don't, I don't feel myself getting the liquid into my stomach or feeling like I should stop drinking because I'm just um, feeling so swollen and sore that I'm just kind of doing it anyway. But now um, that like I'm really almost painless, um, I'm feeling my restriction now, which is kind of weird. Like I. I was able to drink one of these like in no time, but now, um, but now like I could feel it. I could take only a few sips and then I want to stop. So, um, I think that's going to be something that I'm going to have as maybe an upcoming challenge for the next week. As for the upcoming week, um, I'm going to be setting some goals. So first off, I'm not going to be setting a weight loss goal because it's clear that that's not good for my mental health to, um, set an expectation, especially, I mean, all of our journeys are so unique that there's just no way I can adequately guess how much weight I'm going to lose in the next week. Um, the only thing that I think will probably happen um, is that I will reach 50 pounds lost. Um, in January, when I started this journey, I was 501 pounds. So at 455 right now, I've got four pounds to lose until I'm um, 50 pounds down. So that may happen in the next week. It may not. So I'm not going to put any pressure on it, but it is a milestone I'll get to eventually. And I'm really, really excited for when that does happen. So, um, so a goal for me this week is going to, instead of being focusing on my weight loss, to focus on my mental health about my weight loss and just staying um, positive. I'm still going to weigh myself every day just because I'm curious. Um, but just to make sure that I'm not using words like I've only lost this or it's just this, that kind of thing. Just no minimizing my progress. I'm not going to do that. So that's one goal. Another goal is going to be focusing on getting more of my protein from food and less of it from protein, protein powder that I'm putting in soups. Um, obviously I'm, like I said, I'm going to be doing for the next week, a blend of full liquids and purees. I still have a ton of soups that I really want to try. So, um, that I already have them in my cabinet. So I'm not going to stop them and go all the way to purees, but I do want to start just kind of introducing more protein from food instead of protein powder. So that's going to be another goal. And the third goal is to um, be off of painkillers altogether. Um, and once I can do that, um, I'm going to add another goal in of at least getting two walks a day, once in the morning, once in the, uh, in the evening. If I can do any more in there, then that's great. But I at least want to try to go back to doing two. I don't want to set a goal of five um, because that um, gets a little ambitious and then I if I fail then I'm gonna get down on myself so um, this whole game is gonna be about keeping my mental health strong my body's gonna change regardless of what I do does not matter at this point what I do I'm getting like the most 300 calories a day my, I'm going to lose weight so what matters is that I keep my my head strong my attitude positive and keep things in perspective that is going to be my goal every week so um, those are the things I'm going to be working on um, over the next week. But thank you for watching and hearing how this first week post-op has been. Um, if you're one of the people who um, are also recently in the, the last week or two have had your surgery, I hope you're doing well. Um, and if you guys have any questions, any comments, um, anything at all, just leave it down below. But thank you again for taking the time to, to listen to how my last week has been. Bye.